I've been cooking for a long time, ever since I was little, and uh, always tried to live up to my grandmother's, because they good cooks. So people would always say, you gotta cook it a long time. Well, I never understood what that actually meant. <laughs> so for me, a basic meal, that I cook, say like a hamburger, I would smoke for two to three hours to get it just right. And so to me, oh, I got some black in there from the, the edge to take that out. But I always try to get a good chili. And so you can look at this texture here, how this looks after, uh, 16 hours slow cooking some chili in a Dutch oven tell you so to me slow cooking let's get that out of there slow cooking is uh, <laughs> slow cooking <laughs> You develop unique qualities that now people, people when they make food now, they get them on, you know, all the canned tomatoes have citric acid. So this has been cooking for 16 hours and I've cooked chilies this long before with Hunt's tomatoes, and I normally get the fire roasted, which are great. For a quick chili, you can make a two hour chili that will blow your freaking mind. But it's never like this. It doesn't have this slowly degraded tomato that has taken me so long. I guess I've just always been missing a Dutch oven to get that right texture. or the temperature I would keep it at. I can never get this this texture in the sauce. And you can look at it. How the light it it speckles. The light speckles. So imagine tasting that. And that's proper fucking chili. It's uh just amazing. course you're used to that that bright vibrant flavor that when it hits your tongue it's you're just like oh to me that gives me a headache actually I'm really sensitive to it and it uh it gives me heartburn makes you kind of sick so I, I can't really digest it and when I cook a chili this long with that with citric acid, so I added some acid later, just recently. I'm gonna cook it for another hour or two. Cause you're gonna you're gonna have a bland flavor at the middle of your tongue. That's a palate you go in to fill out. I didn't actually use chili though. Which could is part of the issue too. But I used cayenne pretty much all the other seasonings you require without just chili I, I chopped up a bunch of red chilies and some sweet peppers and some Tabasco sauce that's where the the acids coming from now is the Tabasco with Chipotle because I wanted to experiment with that but and just oh my gosh I have tried for years to get tomatoes to do this. And all I've been missing is a little Dutch oven. So this is 16 hours of chili. That is beautiful. And that is some good fucking chili. Mm. Texture is great. The flavor is clean. It's not doing weird things to you. You can eat more of it and not feel weird. 
my problem is I always end up cooking things too long. So, so this time I think this is worth not stretching it out to see what I did wrong or what happens. But <laughs> people would always tell me, yeah, you gotta cook it a long time. So I'm out there cooking for eight hours straight. <laughs> Some things, you know, different recipes. Chili, chili and tomato sauce. They always say you gotta cook that the longest. Well, <laughs> I've cooked tomato sauces for three fucking days sometimes. Just trying to figure it out. What the hell do you mean a long time? All I was missing was a Dutch oven. Get that beautiful texture. That is awesome. So if you ain't got one of these little ones, the little ones are the best. As I've said. And then it's mm. lovely. Still miss a little bit of a front development on the tongue. But the start's beautiful, the finish needs to be developed more. Hey, for my first Dutch oven chili though, 